Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, and get our computer ready for uh, um, developing with Java. So notice that we have to install three things. We have to install the Java JRE and the Java SDK, and then we're going to install Eclipse. So uh, the two Java installs are basically to support Java running on our computer, and then Eclipse is to edit Java files and compile them and run them. So Okay, so the first thing you have to remember about Java is there are a lot of different versions. Okay, so you have to install the, the matching version of the JRE and the SDK. So I went ahead and searched Java JRE 7. Um, I've noticed that uh, that it's very hard to find these things on Oracle sites. If you just search this in Google and we go to the Java SE 7 uh, page here. So basically this is the archive page for seven right okay so um, and notice there are a lot of different versions so we want to just get the latest seven update okay um, so Java SE development kit that's the SDK Java SE runtime environment so Java standard edition is the SE runtime environment um, so those are our those are our downloads right there okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open a tab for the SE development kit, so that's our SDK, and I'm going to open a tab for the Java uh, runtime environment. Okay, so here we go. This is the Java 7 SDK development kit, um, and we're going to go ahead down here, and these are all the processors, right? So I'm on a 64-bit Windows system, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just download the x86 because that will work for both. Um, uh, like 32-bit windows and 64-bit windows. So um, let's go ahead and just download that. Oop, accept the license agreement. Okay, and then we're going to go over and we're going to go down download the Java SE standard runtime environment. Once again, I'm going to look for the windows. Windows x86, and I'm going to go ahead and click the exe for that. So Windows x86 uh, offline. I want to click on the exe for that. Oops, accept the license agreement. So notice the difference here. So this is a zip file, basically. It's a tar file, which is the same thing as a zip, basically. And then this is the actual installer. So this is the exe file and it's the x86 because we want to install the 32-bit version. Mainly I'm doing that to avoid confusion. Um, if I was on a 64-bit system, I would install the 64-bit usually. Um, okay, so we have our two, our two files here. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and go over and get the Eclipse. Um, Eclipse for Java here. Um, so we're going to go to what we search in Eclipse, and notice it's the first two here, Eclipse.org. So we're going to go to Eclipse Downloads, and we're going to go ahead and uh, do the Eclipse uh, IDE for Java developers. Notice they have a lot of different versions too. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download the Windows 32-bit for that. Notice we get to a mirror. We're just going to click the top mirror. And it's going to say thank you for downloading Eclipse. We're going to click save. Okay, so we so we have our um, we have a couple of downloads here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the runtime environment first. Um, it does matter. Um, it does matter which one you installed first. So just install the runtime environment first, then the SDK, then Eclipse. Um, I've just noticed that it causes less problems uh, when you do that. So we go ahead and click install. Notice that I have uh, these are our three files here. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes. I might pause it uh, if it takes too long. Um, okay, so we installed the JRE. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. Um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the um, 
uh, SDK. Sorry, the JDK. Java Development Kit. <laughs> uh, we're just going to keep clicking next. Basically, just keep all the standard features the same. Installing. Let me go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so the Java development or the JDK has installed. Installed. Um, we're going to go ahead and click close, and then uh, we're actually going to wait for Eclipse to finish uh, finish downloading here. My connection speed is a little bit slow today. Okay, so at this point we have uh, downloaded Eclipse, and we're going to go ahead into um, we're going to take Eclipse and we're going to open it. I have seven zipped installed. You could just um, you could just double click it if you wanted to. Um, Windows will open it in the same way, and then you can just drag Eclipse anywhere you want. Okay, so if you're if you're on a um, you know if you're on a regular computer, you might just want to put it in your Documents um, folder um, just so you know you know it's somewhere that you're not going to delete it. And it's going to go ahead and extract into that folder. We could have gotten it here a number of different ways, but the idea is that you're going to extract that Eclipse folder into your in somewhere on your computer, and then in that folder, it's going to be run from that folder. Uh, it's kind of nice because it doesn't need to install it. Eclipse itself is written in Java. Okay, so there we have Eclipse. Um, what I like to do is if you take, um, if you open up Eclipse, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a um, create a shortcut to Eclipse. We're gonna drag that onto our desktop. So once again, I right clicked, click Create Shortcut, and then I drag that shortcut onto the desktop, and then I can rename that shortcut uh, to just Eclipse. <coughs> Excuse me. So then, basically, we have Eclipse. We have Eclipse done at that point. So we're going to go ahead and double-click Eclipse, and Eclipse is going to open up. tends to be shorter. Okay, now we have to define a workspace. Okay, so, um, and uh, basically this is where we're going to save all of our files. Um, and you want to make sure when this when this opens, you want to make sure that this is, you're in your own workspace. Um, so in my case, I'm going to go ahead and put it in, uh, in my documents. Okay, I'm going to make a new folder. Make a new folder. I'm going to call it um, my name, which is Frank. Um, I'm going to um, click off and then click on it again. I'm going to click OK. So now notice that um, my I've created this folder. That's the workspace is where Eclipse is going to keep everything for me. So it's important that you be in your own workspace when you start Eclipse. Click OK. All right, so now Eclipse is launching for the first time. Okay, so this is Eclipse. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and double click this here. So once it's open, uh, this is where we're at. Um, okay, so we, uh, we now have it installed. Uh, good luck.